Previously on Pokemon XD. I know it's pretty far away compared to everything. Why? The, and the Ore region is like a awful, like arid desert, as you can see to the southeast of a gate village. So that's a shame. Uh, find Egan. I'll get in touch with him. All right, and we're back here in our nice little retirement village. Hopefully, we can find a few more people to battle. Egan? His house is right here. Oh, the giant tree, like Odysseus. He went off running, off shouting something about someone coming or not coming. I can't quite remember, though. So yeah, in the Odyssey, uh, when Penelope asks Odysseus to prove his identity, she asks him to tell them the secret of their house. Uh, and the secret of their house is something like, because their house is built, like, in a tree... But I think the secret is, like, the house was fashioned out of the tree or something, rather than being built out of it. I don't know. It's kind of confusing, but kind of a nice reference to Greek mythology there. And I can't get through... Okay, guess there's no space between their couch and their coffee table. Having this invisible wall here, that that would really be inconvenient. Like, if you try to change a TV channel or something, like... Eh, Abella. And if I know anything about old people, it's that they don't use remotes as they... They go up and they squint at the TV because they can never find the remote. And they go up to the TV to change the channel. Come and see my husband. Are you Adam? How did you know? Maybe because I'm the youngest person here by 40 years? I got word about you from Lily. Understand you want to purify Shadow Pokemon. If I can open his freaking heart. This calls for my services or some such. He went off running to who knows where. Oh, there he is. Wow, you're fat. Oh? Oh, hello, dear. Our guest Adam has just arrived. I don't know why she's British, but I, apparently she is. Oh, so you're Adam. We've been waiting. I'm Egan. I've heard everything Lily had to say. As you know, to purify a shadow Pokemon, it all must open its heart to the trainer. Their several approaches battles their best, no doubt at all. Uh, I'll go and wait for you there. Okay, so we got to find the Relic Stone. Which can be really frustrating if you've never played this game. It's it's out in the open, but it's kind of hard to find the entrance to it sometimes. Wow, I just... I'm really bad at the GameCube controller, apparently. Uh, no items to steal up here, that's a shame. If this were Legend of Zelda, there'd be like seven pots up here, each with ten rupees. But this is... Alas! This is not Legend of Zelda. So, if I remember right... Oh, here's a Pokemart, and this is a really important Pokemart uh, for the game. And it's not a Pokemart. I lied to you. Ha! It's a trick! It's the daycare center. You can leave a Pokemon here, and it'll level up. I considered using that for my Teddy Ursa that has pickup. Oh, speaking of which, does he have an item? No. Okay. Uh, but I considered using the daycare center for my Teddy Ursa that has pickup, because as you level Pokemon up, pickup gets better. But, yeah, I decided against it, because the item I would have wanted, uh, no spoilers, but the item I would have wanted would have required Teddy Ursa to be level 100, and then there would have been a 1% chance for me to get the item every time it picks up a, a uh, item. And that's just not worth it. That sounds like a lot of work to me. Oh, this guy making use of the, uh, time system on the GameCube, which I believe was pretty new at that time. He'll give you a new berry every day, so that's nice. So if we go back here, uh, there's an item over this little river. Not that, I mean, I don't know, I don't want to insult your intelligence. I'm sure if you're playing, you'll be able to see that, but just to give you the complete experience... Um, oh, there's that lady with the low tad. I think that's back around here. Yeah, this this town is surprisingly frustrating to navigate because there's all these slopes around that are really difficult to find in the 3D view. Like, just at first glance, there'd be nothing, there'd be no reason for you to think that from up here you'd be able to get down there. You just kind of got to explore and wait for the camera to show you. So, there's a few tricky places around here. Uh, he saw him in a rush a little earlier. 
Maybe Bella would know where she went. So yeah. So if you didn't figure out where the house was at first, but you somehow were able to find that ridiculously hidden slope, but couldn't find the giant tree in the middle of the city, then she would help you. So whatever. This guy fight you? It's rare to see a child visitor in our village, says the young man. Hey, I may be young in body, but old in heart. Yeah, whatever. And yeah, there's that really muscular guy down there. I forget how to get down there every single time, so that might be an adventure you and I go on later. Here's the Pokemon Center. Okay, so... Wait. So that thing I mentioned earlier was probably the Pokemon Mart, and I just didn't go in. So here's a Pokemon Center. Uh, even with a rendition of the classic Pokemon Center music, sit back and enjoy it a little bit. It's nice and jazzy. Yeah. That's what you like, I know. Huh. And this guy's wearing the sandals that Dr. Kaminko invented that are terrible for your health. So this is classic Pokemon Center. You can take your Pokemon here to heal. Uh, this is where you can store Pokemon. We won't need that for the time being because we still only have two. But, uh, so I'll take you back to that Pokemon Mart because that's actually really important. The place that I thought... So yeah, I took kind of a circuitous route going up by Egan's house up there, but you can, if you just cross this crevice right here, you can go right to the Pokemon Center. And up here is one of the most important Pokemon marts in the game, for a very important reason. Uh, let's see if they're off available to buy. So you can get your classic potions and super potions, um, and I don't know that you can buy Pokemon. Ball, Pokeballs here yet. But these scents, this is one of the only places in the game to buy these scents. And if you don't have the time or don't feel like battling, or if there's a Pokemon that's really just annoying to purify, you can buy these scents. And you don't have a cologne case yet. Which I love the word cologne, by the way. It's just hilarious. But you can buy these scents and use them on the Pokemon. And um, the Pokemon will be purified if you massage them. They're also useful for increasing the friendship level of a Pokemon, which will also be important later. No spoilers, but uh, we'll definitely be making use of this in just a little bit later in the game. So we'll go back out here uh, and cross the river somehow to get to where Egan is. So as you can see here, uh, where we're wanting to go is down there where that guy is guarding the cave. And this is another one that's kind of hard to tell. Uh, here's a Pokemon Center, but right next to it there's this really steep slope that is kind of hard to see unless you're looking for it. So this is how you get down here. Uh, and is this, the, is this how you get to the muscular guy I was talking about earlier? Also the camera does weird things and like zooms way out. What's, what's your problem? There's no path out of the village this way. Yeah, this guy gets lost, too. Yeah, I'll battle, whatever. <laughs> He's, yeah. So, even the game designers recognize this place is kind of hard to get around. Oh, yes, a Tyrogue! I love Tyrogue. I remember trying to evolve Tyrogue into my first hit on top. Giving him all kinds of proteins to make sure, you know, the attack stat and defense stat were exactly the same. If you don't know Tyrogue, can actually evolve into three different Pokemon, and it depends on um, the the relative stats of his attack and defense. So if his defense is higher than attack, it'll evolve into Hitmonchan. If attack is higher than defense, it'll evolve into Hitmonlee, based on Bruce Lee. Hitmonchan is a punching Pokemon, Hitmonlee is a kicking Pokemon. And if they're exactly equal, and I mean exactly, it will evolve into a Hitmon Top, which is awesome. And I just love Tyro. He just looks like a scrappy little kid. And so, I, I was kind of in the middle of a monologue there, but if you noticed, um, I called Teddy Ursa out of his reverse mode earlier, uh, and that opened up his purification bar significantly. And we also learned a new move, Metal Claw. Which, I mean, in your day-to-day, -day, it might not be useful, but if you're, like, up against an Ice-type or a Rock-type, it's kind of nice to have Metal Claw on Teddy Ursa. Especially when he, with his normal, you know, normal-type moves might not be able to hurt. You know, Metal Claw, that's just something unique. And that's nice. 
Uh, everybody's favorite Pokemon is Zubat. Anyway, that's one thing that's nice in Pokemon XD. Uh, some Pokemon, you know, they learn really unique moves uh, when they're purified. Sometimes that means the moves are terrible, but, you know, it's just part of it. Like, a lot of Pokemon can learn Refresh randomly when they're purified. So, oh, uh, another thing I mentioned, I didn't mention, about Reverse Mode. I think you need to use Shadow-type moves in order to go into Reverse Mode. So, like, I think since I used Metal Claw there, he didn't have any chance to go into Reverse Mode. So... You know, you can kind of take that into account. If you're in a really important battle, and you don't want to lose a turn because they went into reverse mode, or, no, you don't lose a turn anymore, but you don't want to go have the potential of them going into reverse mode, then you can use regular moves. Or if you're specifically battling, trying to um, purify them, you can use shadow moves. And I could game the system and just have, you know, Flareon use Sand Attack and Teddy Ursa use Shadow Mist on this Zubat forever until his bar is down. And I'll probably do that for some Pokemon later on. But, um, yeah, I just... That feels kind of gamey to me, and right now it's not really worth it. We'll definitely be able to get Teddy Ursa where he needs to be purified by the time we get the ability to... Step aside. Don't give up! Yeah, I don't know. Oh yeah, because if you hadn't... If you hadn't talked to Bella by this point, um, he wouldn't let you in. So, which I don't, again, I don't really know why. You ready to get started? Oh yeah, there's... I forgot these, a couple trainers before the actual Relic Stone to help you purify your Pokemon. So maybe I shouldn't have gone through those extra battles after all, but whatever. Here's a Nummel. <laughs> I remember I used a Nummel in one of my first playthroughs, either this game or... Uh, Pokemon Coliseum. Nummel's just funny. It just looks really stupid. It's, you know, the fire-type version of Slowpoke, basically. And it's just hilarious to look at. You notice Zigzagoon always moves in zigzags when it attacks. Uh, so when you, like, knock it back with an attack, It'll, like, get pushed back and run back in a zigzag. And then Linoon, you know, when it evolves, goes in a really straight line. Just little things like that are kind of nifty. I mean, the animations can get annoying after a while since they, um, they, you can't turn them off and they take a lot of time every time. But, you know, a little attention to detail like that just makes the game so much fuller. You know, you can imagine a silly little Pokemon like that always running in zigzags. It's just really cute. Ah, reverse mode. Okay. So, next time I call him, he should probably get all the way, if not complete, or almost all the way, uh, purified, so. <clears throat> Excuse me. So we've explored a gate village and, uh, done a few battles, and it looks like Teddy Ursa will be ready to be purified next episode, so I'll, uh, see you then.